Hey there, friends. Arya Safarke here, in the city of Riften, in the easternmost parts of Skyrim. We are here, of course, because we are going to continue our missions given to us by our Lord and Master Arke to search for the mysterious dragon priests and destroy them. We are here, of course, with our companions, Lydia, my house Carl, Uthgird, the Unbroken, and Lucian Flavius here, who is sporting some new armor. Ah, we decided to give him some new gear because, well, I think he deserves it, and of course he needs it. Because we are getting into more and more dangerous situations, and just having simple mage robes just won't Genuine cut it those are actually some of uh, the old armor in our growing arsenal over at the safe room and i enchanted it i think it fits him rather well looks like a dashing hero that he wishes to be surely anyway yes now, before we go off and exploring this area, searching for more ruins, I was thinking, since we are going to stay here for a while, in this region of this region, I was thinking perhaps it would be advantageous for us to set up some more... Perhaps I'll write a book about it one day. From a distance, that is. It is quite amazing how far your voice carries. Um, yes. Uh, what was I saying? We were... Yes, I was thinking of setting up more routes here. Perhaps getting ourselves a proper residence. Just like in Whiterun. Where we, of course, own nice little domicile. The house of uh, Bree's home, and where we are also the Thane of Whiterun. And I understand that one can be a Thane of multiple holes, perhaps even all of them, depending on how diligent you are. And it would be advantageous for us if we were Thane of the Rift as well. So we are here in front of. Mist Veil Keep, I guess, yes. We're going to introduce ourselves to the local leader, the Yarl. Alright, what time is it? Oh, it's almost dinner. Oh, they better talk to the Yarl before she, she heads off. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Oh, alright. Um. Good work, ma'am. Um, greetings, Yal. I am Arius of Arke, Thane of Whiterun, at your service. Welcome to Riften, traveler. I hope the road fared well for you. Ah, well, the road from Whiterun to Riften is uh, quite an interesting one, my Yal, but no need to worry. I just came here and... Uh, just arrived in your wonderful city, even though I've been here before. Um, I've heard that this is the home of the Thieves' Guild. <laughs> A rather colourful... Uh, colourful uh, reputation for your city. We're all eager to see them brought to justice. Ah. Maven Blackbriar has assured me that they're being dealt with appropriately. Maven As one of our city's Briar. most influential citizens, she's taken it upon herself to oversee their incarceration. Sadly, they're proving elusive, but I have confidence that Maven won't give up until this city has been rid of them all. Ah, that is good to hear, my Jarl. If I could uh, offer my services in any way, please do not hesitate. Um, just to ask, what is your stance on the war? Well, I feel Ulfric's cause is just. My I concern do. is for the people of the Rift. How can they continue to lead their already meager lives with dark clouds looming overhead? Dark clouds. My heart goes out to them. If only our coffers were deeper, I could protect them as they were my own family. 
Oh, that is truly selfless as you, my Jarl. And uh, of Ulfric, Stormcloak, how do you feel about that man? With the Stormcloaks at his back, Ulfric's poised to rid Skyrim of the Empire's forces and invalidate our involvement with the White Gold Concordat. Huh. Many have died taking up arms for this cause. I fear that the land will be stained with blood for years to come. Well, we could always hope that uh, things are resolved less bloodily. All right, I will leave you to you. your coming dinner, my all. Thank you. Good journey to you. And uh, you must be the steward. Welcome to Mistvale Keep. I'm Jarl Layla's steward, Anuriel. Yes, I'm Arius of Arke, Thane of Whiterun, and, well, experienced adventurer, cleric of Arke, missionary of the god of life and death. Ah. Um, perhaps there will be something for us to do, someone of my considerable prowess? The Jarl has put out a bounty on the dragon that's been terrorizing the countryside. The dragon? Here. Take a look at this decree for details. All right. Hmm. We will uh, look into this at once. Lady Anuriel, that is... Um, what do you exactly do around here, my lady? As steward, I serve as an intermediary between the Jarl and her subjects. Oh. I also handle the less important and day-to-day -day policies that affect daily life in Riften. Huh. Lately, I've had my hands full suppressing these ridiculous accusations of corruption in the Keep. Corruption? Uh, what are these rumors of corruption? There are those that believe the Jarl does nothing for this city. That huh. it's corrupt and run by the Black Briar family. I can assure you that this is entirely false. We are fully in control of everything. Ah, well, I am sure that you are, my lady. Tell me about these Black Briars. Why are they such a, well, influential name? Maven Blackbriar is the owner of the largest and most profitable business in all Skyrim, the <clears throat> Blackbriar Meadery. We're pleased to have her in Riften. She brings stability, opportunities for employment, and strategic value to our city. All right, um, and about the Thieves' Guild? I'd hardly call them a guild. More like unorganized rabble. In fact, I wouldn't say they were a threat at all. No, our resources should be spent on preparations for invasion. Invasion? Oh, the Legion. Well, uh, don't worry, I, I don't think the Empire is looking to actively invade holds. At least not yet. Anyway, thank you, Lady Anuriel. You're welcome in Riften, as long as you continue to obey our laws. Yes, indeed. Oh, and uh, hello there. Out of my way. The son of the Jarl has no time for idle conversation with travelers. Oh, really? Well, that is a very modest blade that you wield. If you must know, I was practicing in the yard when the guard I was sparring with fainted when I specifically told him to duck. Fainted? My blade bit oh. right into the stonework next to the keep and needed serious repairs. Thankfully, our smith, Balamond, works wonders. In yes. fact, if you'd fetch my blade from him, I'd be most appreciative. Fetch your blade? Well, why not? I do know Mr. Balamond. Master Balamond, actually. All right, uh, if I pass by his area, I'll get your weapon for you. Thank you. Do hurry, please. You seem to be a bit... Um, testy against visitors. Every day the threat of exile from Riften draws closer for myself and my family. Who knows how many spies the Empire has sent into our midst already. We're at war. This isn't the time for hospitality. Thank uh. goodness Mother is keeping a level head about everything. If my brother Sailand had his way, we'd be flying Imperial colors by now. Nothing wrong about flying Imperial colors? I mean... Anyway, 
You and your brother don't see eye to eye then, eh? Can you believe that fool had the audacity to speak of his love for the Empire in the plaza? God. He expects us to drop our defenses and greet them with open arms. Yes. To dialogue with them rather than defend our homeland by spilling their blood. Uh, He's a traitor, plain and simple. Had I been sitting on the throne, he'd be hanging from the gallows for his sympathies toward the Empire. Well, uh, I hope that it would not come to that. I mean, family should not be so aggressive. Anyway, I'll leave you to your dinner. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, yes, of course. Um, yes. Yes, why would we trust citizens of the Empire, including these arrogant Imperials? Uh, hello there. Did we have an appointment? No. It was a delivery? I can't remember. Um, you appear to be slightly adult. Yes, I could use some help with that. An assistant, perhaps? No, no, no. Maybe a familiar... No, too messy. Well, at any rate, organization is not my strong suit. Not at all. I need as much help as I can get. In fact, if you could retrieve a few things for me, I could start on my next set of experiments. Hmm. So what exactly did you need someone to retrieve for you? As you can imagine, I tend to forget things often. How really? Things around. I really must learn to put these things away. What I need is my Dwemer stirring spoon, my Orichalcum ingot, and my Grand Soul Gem. In fact, I could use them immediately. Bring those items back to me, and I'll be happy to experiment on you. Huh? No, no, that isn't right. I'd be happy to reward you. Oh. Um. All right, uh, point the way, and I'll see what I can do. Excellent. I can't wait. Well, why are you still standing here? Oh, right. You need to know where they are. Oh, oh well. yes, yes. Um, because uh, unlike my lord and master RK, I am not all seeing. <laughs> so, uh, where exactly am I going? Let's see. Last time I used the Dwemer's spoon was at my dear friend Bodhi's house in Iverstead. Iverstead? Fellstar Farm, I believe it's called. All right. The Orichalcum ingot should still be at Winterhold at the Frozen Hearth Inn. I don't know why I didn't just take it with me. And last is the Soul Gem. I left that one in Windhelm at the White File Alchemy Shop. It was a good trade, too. Oh, well. All right, um... I'll see what I can do. I have to remember. Ward first, then summon. Yes, word first. Right, um... It is rather late and we haven't had dinner. Let's have some food before we turn in. All right. Right, thank you. Oh, it is getting late. Ah. Maybe we could go back inside the safe room. Yes, why not? Just a quick nap. I'm sure Lydia and uh, Ulfgaard and uh, Lucian will find lodgings at the local inn. They don't have time to go there. It's rather late. You have to be out early tomorrow. Oh, there you are, ladies. Uh, I'll, I'll leave you to it. I'll, I'll be turning in. See you tomorrow. We'll be off early. All right. All right. Good morning. Everyone's here except Lucian. Oh, there he is. Good thing that that armor makes him stand out like an icy thumb. <laughs> Lucian. This is not my kind of town. Really? But why? Ah. Uh, come on, uh, just follow me. We're getting ready to leave. I'll be right behind you. All right. 
Let's get going before we freeze to death. Yes, it is getting rather chilly. Don't worry. I have a cloak. That armor's insulated. Alright, um... What was that that they gave us? Bounty? By order of Layla Lawgiver to all able-bodied and fearless men and women of the Rift. The dragon located in Northwind Summit has been carrying off livestock, terrorizing citizens and visitors. Handsome reward will be offered to anyone who kills it. Northwind Summit. Where's Northwind Summit? Shorestone, Northwind. Oh, it's not not that far away, actually. All right. Um. All right. Glory only awaits those who triumph. Well, we will not fail. We will triumph indeed. All right, let's put on our helmet. Right. Ready. Come on. I just have to pass by Master Ballymont. Master Ballymont. Hello, friend. Hello there. Ah, uh, I'm here to pick up um, Lord Harold's sword. <laughs> Lazy good for nothing, isn't he? Yes, Set indeed. Set you down here when I'm a stone's throw from the keep. Here's uh -huh. the sword. Tell Harold to stop slaying walls, and perhaps his blade will stay in better condition. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll be seeing you, my friend. Stop back any time. All right. Come on. What kind of sword is it? Um, steel sword. Well, just as mundane as the man himself. Ah, yeah, might as well give it to him. All right. Guess we came here just in time for roll call. All right. I don't want to carry around this piece of. Metal. Oh, there you are. Hey. Out of my way. The son of the Jarl has no time for idle conversation with Soldiers travelers. Yes, yes. The here's your sword. Took your sweet time getting it to me. Of course. Here you go. You're your not trouble. that important. <laughs> well, all right. Um, at least you're kind of generous. All right. All right, then. Thank you. Well. Come on, ladies. Well, I have to say, he's a bit of an ass, but he's a generous ass. Um, where's Lucian? There he is. All right. So, people, people, we're headed for a place called Northwind Summit. It's not far away. But um, we're going to go kill a dragon. So hopefully no one gets their head bitten off, all right? In fact, you are forbidden to get your head bitten off. No resurrections. Right. So we have, of course, our trusty weapons, our gear, our companions behind us. Well, all right. Let's go. All right. So this Northwind Summit is just beyond... Sure stone. I saw that. All right. Are you coming down or what? Damn these reptiles. Being so high and mighty just because you can fly. Must be a way to bring these dragons down to our level. Don't know any spell that does that. What's that guard? 
Something wrong, man? Oh. Uh, lady? Now what? Come on. Okay, let's have our shouts ready. Anyway, let's uh, concentrate on the matter at hand. So, this Northwind Summit is somewhere beyond Shorestone. We have to pass by this fort, which is probably... Yes, yes, there they are. Peels in Stormcoat still fighting, fighting over it. Let's, let's avoid this place. Oh, come on. As much as I... As much as I would like to fight side by side with fellow Imperials. We are not involved in this war yet. We are not... It's not our place. Especially now that uh, we are trying to get on the good side of a Yarl who seems to be on the side of the Stormcloaks. At least on paper. What the... Oh, come on! What? Not bad. Not bad. Thank you. Alright. I think the said steam's a lot larger from this side. Ah, well. Yes, maybe... There have been new arrivals since we last were here. Oh, and some houses seem to have been burned down. Yeah, it's my fault. I, I don't pay attention much to the places that we go to. It should change. Should be more in touch with the people. Like any good thing should be, eh? Yeah, that's why. Should talk to people more. Be more sensitive. Sympathetic. Approachable. Friendly. Yes. Not unlike the silly, doddering old priest that we were before. Ha. Oh, you're yeah, very distant. Very cold. Oh, no. Is that a troll? That's, we're not here to kill trolls. We have bigger fish to... What killed you? Alright, um... Yeah, well. He's very resilient. Well, that's not good. Taken care of. Oh, it's just a troll. You don't spend too much time with trolls. You just ignore them if possible, lest they come and try to bite your head off. Then you have to squash them utterly, like the trolls they are. Right. Um, look at that view. Huh? No, I'm just admiring the view. Look. Such a... Such a beautiful place. So full of trolls. Really, I'm wondering if there are more trolls than there are people. Handle it. You can handle it. Oh, you can handle it. I guess that other troll was just rather strong. Oh, there he goes. There's another dragon over there. Anyway, I think the other dragon is up this. Yes, it's up this path. There's a path here. Come on. Sooner that we slay this worm, sooner we can move on to other matters. So that 
dragon lives in a mine? Apparently there's a mine here. Um, all right. Now oh, there we go. So, where is everybody? Come on, please. There's Lucian. Lucian, there you go. All right. It's rather dark. Um, where's that? Mage light, yes. Hmm. Well, this mage light is the. Oh. I guess the dragon doesn't exactly live inside the mine. Probably lives above it. Oh! Oh, I'm dead! Alright. If it took more than one blow to destroy a skeleton, it would be quite, right. quite unusual. Come on! the trap oh come on what did I say hmm. all right come on oh, look at that oh sorry sorry oh there he is oh well yes we we were we're quite aware that there was a dragon here, Lydia. Coming here. Alright, where is he? Oh! Alright, um... Uh, light of our cave. We've killed one before. We've killed several. Oh shit. Whoa! Ouch! What the hell? He can call down fire from the sky. Alright, um, what can we use against him? Uh, well, he uses fire. Mark of death, I guess. Or marked for death. There you go. Alright. Come on, come on. Ah! Let me give you a dead toenail! <laughs> Ow! Alright, where is he? Alright, there's at least a word. It's at least a word wall. Good thing everyone has ample fire resistance. Yes, Lucian! Get some shelter. Actually, very prudent of you. What? Thing that this dragon doesn't seem to have exceptional fire. Alright, thank you very much. Good to see you. Ow, 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 ow. Alright, I take back what I said. Uh, rather dangerous. Wow! All right. Everyone. All right, all right, all right, all right. You know what? Let's keep grand healing. All 
That was a close call. Ow. Really, really. One cannot underestimate these bastards. All right. All right. Stop fighting me. from his flank. Keep the big can do this. Alright. There. What crazy? Whoa! What the hell? Oh he crashed! <laughs> Very nice! Ouch! Bastard! Alright. Can I finish this? Backhand to the face. All right. Oh. Well, that was a hot one. <laughs> hot because of fire all over the place. Lucian, you're almost dead. So, let's get some uh, bones and scales. Anything else? Huh. Just some gold. Anyway, you should relax, man. It's dead. All right. It's a problem with Lucian. It takes some time for him to get out of the combat phase mode I guess ebony bow I not that is quite nice oh, not. right no what really have we been here before huh or did we actually get the world already um I mean fighting was so fierce we were fighting near the wall, we might have gotten it. Or a whisper, a of fury, anything here new? 
Slow time, storm calm. I actually don't know. Seek. Maybe it was Aura Whisper. Huh. It's not Elemental Fury. It could be. Eh. Well, another time. Anyway. Anything else here? So apparently this was some sort of mining settlement. A rather large one too. From the looks of it. Unfortunately they have all apparently been slain or driven away. Not just by the undead in the mines but by this dragon. And mammoths as well. What? I... Oh come on. Crashing dragons always mess up the landscape. You should try uh, to fight them in the wilder areas so we don't cause trouble for any residents. <sighs> Alright. We yeah. are finding so much ebony. Anyway. Whew. So. One more dragon slain. But we are looking for dragon priests. Dragons are a dime a dozen. There will always be more. Our mission for RK continues. But at least, I think we're on a good start.